if you're looking to get the word out about your new business these days, you better learn how to embrace social media because it could be one of the most effective ways to reach your customers. CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is here with the story of one restaurant that has definitely seen a big boost from doing just that. Good morning again. Yeah, good morning again, Erica. And not only cheap, but also uh, cheap, I should say, not only effective, but also cheap. That is right. Luke Holden, he wanted to bring high quality lobster to New York at reasonable, pro reasonable prices. So to expand his business, Luke's Lobster, he turned to a social networking site called Foursquare. We opened our first place October of 2009, and this is our first place in the East Village. What are you doing there? Put the roll on the butter wheel. In 2009, near the butter, height of the recession, 27-year-old Luke Holden took a risk. He opened a lobster sandwich shop in New York City. We're a young, hardworking team that, that does, has never had a whole lot of resources, and we like doing things with our own hands. There you go. It's enabled us to grow during hard times. To make it work, Holden held on to his day job at a bank and spent nights and weekends serving $14 lobster rolls from a less than 300 square foot storefront. I love doing this. You know, we've, we've got a great, a great team around us. A few months later, shunning traditional forms of advertising, he put Luke's Lobster's campaign online. Holden teamed up with a new tech startup called Foursquare. If I'm somebody who's never heard of Twitter, never heard of a mobile application, is a little bit confused what even a smartphone is, how would you describe what you're doing? Yeah, forget about paper, forget about carrying coupons around, uh, that loyalty card booklet, or any one of these things that you get in the mail. We're trying to make it so that it's a little bit more digital, a little bit more virtual, like this digital wallet that you're carrying around that's constantly rewarding you as you go around and explore your city. Foursquare is a mobile application that allows its 10 million users to virtually check in from their smartphone when they visit a local business, like Luke's. The information is then shared with everyone in the individual's social network. Word of mouth from your friends is stronger than, I think, any other form of advertisement, in my opinion. The information is also shared with the business where someone's checking in, so a company knows exactly who its customers are. And then we're also helping local merchants connect with the people that are most likely to become, uh, you know, really great customers of theirs. And through that, we're, all, we're allowing businesses to, you know, offer discounts and specials to a lot of these local merchants. Luke's Lobster has capitalized on this by offering specials and discounts to those who check in through Foursquare. The most frequent customer is rewarded with an extra discount and the title you of mayor. In. So you just checked in to Luke's? Yes. And how many times have you been here this week? Uh, probably twice this week, but according to Foursquare, I think I made like 107 visits now. <laughs> 107, in how over, much over, time? Over, a bit over a year. Virtual customer loyalty <laughs> with a very real impact on businesses like Luke's. Do you think it's possible to do business as an entrepreneur now without using these social tools, social media? I think it's possible, but I don't think it's smart. Someone takes the time to, to do some type of action outside or inside of your restaurant that doesn't involve buying food at the counter, that, that action should be recognized. How many businesses, though, Rebecca, are actually using this? Well, it's just about 250,000 businesses right now. But you think about those 10 million users. They are spread all across the United States and even throughout the world. About 40% of the Foursquare users are people who are living outside of the United States. Bigger cities, of course, services like these bigger cities attract more people to this type of service. But like Luke said, it's a great tool and it's basically free to him to learn who his customers are, what time they're frequenting the store, and also what kinds of things they're interested in. Yeah, it helps him better tailor the offerings to, of course, in the end, make more money. Exactly. All right, Rebecca Jarvis, thanks. thanks.